we have this question right here it's asking determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the pin A and the reaction on the beam at C so these are the points right here let's see what we can do so first of all I like to roughly draw this diagram so here we go so this is my diagram then this is holding this one and this point is A right and this is C B and 1.5 1.5 and 4 kilo newton acting downward and this distance is uh, 1.5 right since we have all this information uh, first thing we can do is we can uh, name the forces acting on it first of all I can name here uh, it's gonna be FA acting up upward and let's say a, a, a y so y common on a y that's where and a x acting this side and for this one uh, we know this is uh, going upward because since this is pulling down the reaction is going to be opposite side therefore this is uh, c4 so uh, i can say c y is acting upward and c c x is going this direction right so uh, since we have this information let's see what we can do first of all I, I like to take the moment around A because we, if we get uh, A we, we will get rid of two unknown components AX and AY so sigma uh, moment around A we know it's zero and let's take uh, clockwise positive and if I equal this to the whole force but since we, we have this diagram we know uh, there is no horizontal moment because it's along the axis is starting therefore uh, all of the moment along horizontal axis is going to be zero so I only take the vertical mom calculate the vertical moments first of all if we see vertical components we have this one right here uh, C, CY cy times distance is 1.5 meter and this is uh, going counterclockwise right so we took uh, we took clockwise positive therefore i have to put negative right here and this one is acting clockwise 4 kilo newton so i put it as positive 4 kilo newton kilonewton and distance is 3 meter so all of them are equal to 0 therefore if I solve this one so all of them are equal to 0 if I solve this one 1.5 cy is gonna be equal to 12 therefore cy is equal to 8 kilo newton right this is my answer for cy since i have found cy i can say cx is also equal to 8 kilo newton you may ask uh, what is the mathematical explanation for this so if we calculate this uh, if we calculate this theta to calculate we i can use tan theta tan inverse theta is going to be equal to tan inverse uh, 1.5 this is like opposite over adjacent right so opposite is 1.5 over adjacent so it's 1 so tan inverse 1 is going to be 45 degree 45 degree so we can the another way to calculate cy is uh, cy uh, c sine theta right c sine theta so if c sine theta is equal to 8 kilo newton sine for c sine 45 is equal to 8, 8 kilo newton we know the to find cx i have to use c cos 45 so if you see the values for sine 45 and cos 45 is same things therefore that's why i say if cy is 8 kilo newton 
I can say cx is equal to 8 kilonewton. Both are same uh, numbers, right? And both of them are clockwise, so I keep them positive. Both of them are acting clockwise. So I. Mm, so let's see. So we have sold and found this one is clockwise and CX is CX is clockwise. So our assumption is might be wrong, but this is the answer. CY is eight kilonewton and CX is eight kilonewton. And then if I s now I have sold from the moment now I take the whole force. So total force of Y. We take all the y components. We have a y right here. It's acting upward, so it's going to be counterclockwise negative a y and negative a y. Then we have a c y acting c y. So it's c y is c y is clockwise. So our assumption is wrong. This is this is clockwise so plus cy and this is 4 kilonewton acting uh, clockwise so I keep it positive 4 kilonewton so sigma of the total force is 0 here so the total force of y is 0 because it's it's in equilibrium so therefore we know it's zero so cy plus 4 is equal to zero right so we know cy we have found the cy already it's 8 kilonewton 8 plus 4 12 And this is count counterclockwise and CY is positive. So if we solve for AY, AY is gonna be equal to 12 kilonewton. And if I solve for F FX, the total FX is gonna be zero. So if we have, if you see the fx forces, the ax is going counterclockwise. So I can say it's negative ax, and cx is going clockwise. So it's going to be positive, and we have found cx already. It's eight kilonewton. Eight kilonewton equal to zero. So if I solve for AX, AX is going to be equal to 8 kilonewton. So this is my final answer. We have found all the components AX, AY, CX, CY. So I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.